Pip's gonna give me some vines. Look. Whoa. What is... Just for storage? Wow, this is really cool. You only have one vine? I will grow you some vines. This is awesome. Can I fly? I think I can. Alright, let's fly up here and look at Pip's place while we're here. Oh yeah, Pip does live in a jungle. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, Pip. You can keep your builder rank now that you gave me vines. <laughs> What's going on everybody? My name is Ethan and welcome back guys to another episode of Mini Kingdoms. Today we're going to be working on the necropolis. I've started a little bit of a layout here. I'm going to talk you guys through it. Last episode or last video was that opening 100 epic chest. You guys seem to really really like that. If you haven't checked it out already, go ahead. The video is on my channel. Guys, if you haven't Join the server already. I gotta tell you, it's a lot more fun to play than it is to watch the videos on Mini Kingdoms. So check out the IP in the description down below. Come try the server out. Guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. Alrighty guys, so I need to sort of explain my town to you guys because it's not going to make any sense whatsoever. So um, we're building a necropolis. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to turn this biome into a giant graveyard. And the houses of the members of the town will have graves or mausoleums or anything like that on top of it. And then underneath in the ground, like under your grave. Oh, he walked into the home area, right? Under your grave is where the actual house will be. This here is the center of the necropolis. I want this to be like an old ruins area. And then downstairs, there's going to be like a like an ecto core it'll be like a a place of power that is the reason the necropolis is here right it's built on a place of darkness because uh, i think we're the first we might be the second evil town because oblivion's out there and i don't know if oblivion is like good bad or neutral but uh, necropolis is going to be the first evil town on the server so i gotta build a little pathway that will go up from here it'll path its way up. I'll probably smooth this out so it's not such a like a steep incline that'll go to here. And then we're using stone bricks, but I'm also getting some cracked stone bricks as well. And I'm growing some vines so that we can like really make this place what it need to be. Now what I needed to check was is there there are not cracked stairs. I didn't think so. I didn't think that was a thing. Me sad. That would have been nice, but that's fine. So we're going to be working on sort of really, really basic builds or building elements like, you know, things like that. Simple little things that Ethan can build all by himself. <laughs> and uh, we'll get some of these stone bricks as well. And we'll do things like that. See, and we're just going to build like this little broken down ruin area. We might put like a dead tree in the middle of it. Not 100% sure just yet. But uh, it's also going to spin out here. There's also going to be some more little pillars in the center. So like little things like that. And then directly in the middle, once I figure out exactly where the middle is. So it's more than likely going to be maybe here. Might be the middle, might be this one. This might be the middle right here. But uh, oh no. I don't know. But once it's sorted, I'll find the middle. And then we're going to have a little staircase that will go down. I think it's going to be really cool. I, I like building this sort of thing like it's a themed roleplay-esque kind of town and uh, i still haven't decided how we're gonna add people to the town but uh it'll be people who are active on the server will be the ones who will be asked to join because obviously like even though this hi bye even though this account my magic bus account isn't on the server a lot my Ethan R admin account is on the server all the time so i know the players that are active i know who i'm looking to uh invite to the town and so on so uh if you want to be a town member that's sort of the only requirement is to be active get out of here you oh thank you good work uh home area <laughs> Alrighty, guys so i'm in valeria i decided to have a look around at some of the big shops on the server to see if we're able to buy okay these are like Stuff from the warp. No, I'm looking for like exotic blocks and things that I could be using like 
I guess I can get mossy stone from... What's that? Uh, I can use this stuff, can't I? Can I use corrupt sea stone to build with? Maybe. We could probably use terracotta. So, maybe this one. The green one. Um, actually, I think I can get this darker terracotta. I think is actually in my biome. But the green one definitely isn't. So, we might use that. We definitely don't have a use for wools. I wonder if anybody else sells exotic... Oh, this is all like crown stuff, isn't it? Alrighty, so I've been jumping around a little bit this episode. I need to get better tools. My fortune caller is outdated. It doesn't have any enchantments on it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill some of these guys, make a little bit of money, and then we're going to open some of the loot bags because unless I get chests, I might get some chest drops off these guys. But I wouldn't mind trying to get some epic tier tools out of the loot bag if I can get lucky. Um, let's do our buff. Boom. All right, and we should be able to take these guys down. This shouldn't be too difficult. I'm using my guardian sword, so I'm going to waste a little bit of an epic sword here. But it's not really a big deal. I'll be able to get some more in the future, I'm sure. And if I if I play a little bit more often, I, uh, I won't be low on everything as often as I am. I have slowness. Is that from the guardian sword? Oh, no, it's because I scrolled past my other swords. Right. I've also brought some guards great swords with me just in case, but I... Based on how this sword's going, I don't think I'll be using those. Because I don't need a lot of money in order to buy a bunch of loot bags. I might buy 10. I'll save up. I'll get 10 loot bags. And then uh, we'll open those on video for you guys. Just in case you're curious how my luck is after that last episode. Or oh, the last video we did. The 100 epic chest where I didn't really get much. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to get another fortune caller. The upgraded version that actually has enchantments on it. So I'll be right back guys. And hopefully... I have a little bit of money. Alrighty, guys. Ten loot bags. Let's see what we can get. So, oh, we got a groundbreaker. Nice. So, efficiency five, which is awesome. An artisan's hatchet. Uh, yeah, I'll probably use that a little bit. Primitive iron pickaxe might not get used. Uh, common dwarf pickaxe definitely won't get used. Where are you? Uh, this one? Yeah. Artisan hatchet. That's a... Common Dwarf Shovel won't get used. I don't want any of the common items, okay? We'll get rid of all the commons. Oh, there's another one. That's bad. Uh, another common. Another common. Me sad. Primitive Iron Pickaxe. Dang it, man. Alrighty, guys. So, I got a rare chest drop. But while I'm down here, I figured I'd better show you guys something. There's a very, very specific way that... I designed things when I... Because I set up the combat for the server before I handed it over to Alice. With these items, one of the great things about these custom items that we have is even though we have the sweeping attack, for those of you who don't know, we have sweeping. We also have... You can just hit normally, right? And it'll do the damage just like in old Minecraft, pre-1.9. The reason we left in the sweeping attack instead of getting rid of all of them is this uses less durability than if you were to spam click all of them and kill them. So you're still able to sweep and your farming doesn't cost you as much. Like that way your item doesn't die as quickly. And even though this is pretty common knowledge, I see a lot of new players that don't do this properly. They don't, they don't know yet, you know, because they're new. So if you're new, you're trying out the server for the first time, you're watching my video, try using your sweeping attack whenever you're using a sword. Axes and whatnot, I think I'm better used in PvP. Because the sword sweeping attack is the best, from what I know. Alrighty, let's open this rare chest. I've thrown away all my guard swords because, well, this one's actually lasting quite a while. Even though I still think durability needs another buff. I think epic and legendary items especially could use more durability. It's regeneration spell. Right. Pretty sure. Okay, I'm, I removed spells from some of the chests. Apparently I didn't remove them from the rare one. That's a bit of a lackluster reward. Oh, oh well, let's head back to town. Ta yeah, town spawn. We'll head back to town. We'll see how my vines are going because that's sort of my sort of my big thing at the moment. I'm just waiting for the vines to grow. <laughs> Hello. All right, things are looking pretty good here. Let's do a couple. I want to do. Can I do this? Let me double check. Can I break? Yeah. Okay. So the vines will stay. All right. Let's do that. Let's do that. It's it's becoming. Annoying every time I come back here that there isn't a little bit of crack stone everywhere things look a little bit too smooth If you know what I mean, so we're gonna put some more crack stone in I don't think I can get mossy stone. Is there a way to make mossy? Cracked brick like for example 
Let's use the shears that are nearly broken, Ethan. If I get this, and I do that plus that. Oh, it does give me... Oh, yes. This place is going to look gorgeous. All right, let's put one of these here. This is fantastic. Yeah, that makes me very happy. Hey, a villager. Hey, guy. Yeah, you make ugly sounds in the new Minecraft. You dead. Doesn't give me anything. But you... Wait, was that wilderness? Town claim. Not enough available town blocks. Really? I have a lot. No? Huh? Town. That's not how you spell town. Please wait one second before you're next to me. Oh, I'm full. Really? Uh, SV town? I don't have permission to do that. F3H. Advanced tooltips are hidden. F3G. Here we go. I haven't claimed this chunk right next to home. <laughs> Alright, I guess I missed just that chunk. You guys gotta always be careful, man. You never know when you've left an open wilderness chunk just randomly in the middle of your town. Alrighty, guys, welcome back. So, it looks like... Honestly, I think what I'm gonna do for the rest of my time on the server today is I'm probably gonna farm monsters. These are really loud. Ah, it didn't even get me. Alright, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to farm. I'd like to rank up a little bit. I'd like to get to the next warp soon, which means I need to find a little bit more time to play where I'm not worrying about, like, helping Alice with admin stuff, and I can just play for myself. So, and I'm also going to need more weapons. Ooh, I got a club. I got a, probably a stone club of rage or just a regular stone club. But I'm going to have to buy... Probably another guardian sword pretty soon. I should be able to make enough money to afford one, though. And to rank up, I need 100,000. So that's sort of my goal. Construction shovel might have been when I got as a drop. Yeah, it probably was. My goal is to get to that 100,000 and hopefully rank up by next episode. But uh, while we're here, I may as well talk to you guys a little bit since I know things that are, like, coming up and changing on the server and whatnot. I know that we're looking to add... A lot more titles and that to the game. Uh, something that people have requested is like titles on the store and that. Along with some unique pets on the store. So we're probably going to do stuff like that. We got some items and things we might put on the store as well. We recently updated the epic chests. Which is great because now there's more epic items in the game. And uh, as now that like the community has gotten stronger and stronger. Like people are further on in the game. Ooh! Ooh! Me nearly dead. <laughs> now that we're further on in the game. We're not as worried about affecting the balance of the server by adding more epic and legendary items. Which means you'll be able to, like, as you get higher in the ranks, you'll find yourself getting epic items more and more often. And uh, we're also going to be adding some more durable items to make, like, very specifically designed just for farming. So we'll have, like, a range of weapons and armors that... Uh, whoop, whoop, no, 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 oh, I died. <laughs> Ah, I thought I had it, but I did not have it. Um, so we'll be adding weapons and armors along the lines that are designed to last for a very long time, even though they're not that good. So you wouldn't use them in PvP, you wouldn't use them against boss monsters, but you would use them farming because it takes a very long time for them to break, and that's what farming's all about, is high durability so that you can farm for a very long time without all your stuff breaking. Hi, I'm back. I'm going to mess all of you up for taking my levels away. Ow, I die instantly again. <laughs> so yeah, that's sort of the plans at the moment. Uh, we're removing daily bonus. Now that Christmas is over, there's another event coming up, I think, next month, which I'm excited for, which hopefully I'll get to record more of, since, like, I'm doing less and less on the server. Alice is doing more and more, so I have more time to make videos. And I also want to start interacting with plots. You know, plot signing was a big thing on prison servers back in the day. So we might start doing plot signings and plot reviews just so we can interact with the plot world a little bit more. I'm pretty sure my plot is currently empty and, well, we don't want that, do we? <laughs> hey, he's stuck! Easy kill! Free kill! Uh, so it's going to take a very long time for me to rank up, but that'll be my goal for next episode. So hopefully next episode will be ranked up and then in another, in like maybe two or three episodes, we'll be able to check out the next warp, which is Explorer. And since all the warps are, you know, sort of being remade, we'll hopefully have something really cool to show you guys very, very soon. Yes! Free. I need a boss to spawn. That's what I need. Because I think the boss drops like 
20 of this thing, which is, what, $2,000, I think? And then I could get maybe an epic chest if I'm lucky. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for today's episode on Mini Kingdoms. By next episode, I want to rank up, I will have more of the town built, and I think I will have decided how we're going to select our first member to join the Necropolis. And I think, I'll just give you guys quick, uh, like, requirements for those of you who want to know. You'll definitely have to be an active player, you won't be able to be a part of another town, and there might be some other things you may have to apply on the forums, so on and so on. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to slap a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. If you haven't already, turn on the little bell, and then you'll never miss an episode on Mini Kingdoms or any of my other videos. Thank you all for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.